These companies, they need to start putting the people first. I would like to talk to the audience and see, like, what is your experience? How are these companies treating you? Number one, did the company, when they let you go or, or fired you or furloughed you, whatever they did, when they let you go, how, what was that experience like? Did they treat you right? Number two, what is it like in the hiring process? What is that experience like? How is corporate America actually treating you? And Dr. Cass, what's your experience that? How are companies doing when it comes to that conversation? Are they doing well? Are they just really totally messing the ball game up here? Or what's the biggest challenge companies are going through? Companies have realized with COVID, people come first. Okay, they have because woken up. people are not coming into the office. Office mm. is going into people's homes, right? So let's mm. not forget it. When people came into work, we told them you can't bring your home to work. But now we expect to go home 24 seven, regardless of what's going on in their household. So conscious companies are realizing the script is switched, mm. right? It's flipped. And we need to show up with mindfulness and people are working harder. The old notion that if your butt is not in the seat and I don't see you working, you're not working. Productivity has gone up by 40 to 50% of the people working at home. Wow, that much? 40, 50%? Yes. Ooh, that's yeah. a lot. That kind of blows your theory. Stuff. Yeah, because people, they're working longer, I feel like, because they're at home. I think people yeah. are just working a lot. Yeah, that is one of the pitfalls of remote work is being able to turn it on and off yeah, yeah at, at certain times and I think with for certain people everybody's different like like our assistant hope she's there she works really well from home she does her thing like you know we don't got to tell her what to do you know we don't, she doesn't need somebody hanging over her shoulder you know what I'm saying she doesn't need that uh, there are some people though who I feel like they need some form of accountability in having a, someone to just you know, maybe tell them what to do or how to do it or get things done or just maybe have a little bit of accountability can help in an office environment can help them with that. So sure. what yeah. are your thoughts on that, Dr. Cass? Both work and school is now virtual, right? I play in both those spaces. I'm a graduate <laughs> school professor for 22 years on top of being in the international finance arena for over 30. And both today require two things. It needs people to show up with empathy and resiliency mm. and it needs people to show up in both spaces with self-motivation. We can't give people motivation. If people need help, they need to be motivated enough to ask for help. You were talking earlier to us, right? There you, you go. You started the program with a prayer. And I'm not Christian, I'm Hindu, but I was raised appreciating all traditions. And I know this much, knock and the door shall open and ask and you shall receive, right? Mm -hmm. So ask, mm -hmm. ask for help. <laughs> I love it. Ask, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, and like we were saying, a, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. You have to ask. You got to open up. And so, yeah, if you're if you're struggling at work, if you're struggling, um, whether it's a, uh, a remote work environment or what have you, you do have to speak up and say, hey, listen, I'm I'm having a challenge here. So I love that.